Hi everyone, it's Danny. Okay, today we're going to discuss about orchid diseases. It's not a pleasant topic, but it's really helpful to know about them. And I want to present to you a case of some sort of bacterial infection. Now, as you can see, my orchid seems to have really weird looking patches on its leaves. It starts out as a sort of a wet spot, the color changes a little bit, and then as days go by, it progresses pretty, pretty fast and takes over more and more of the leaf. In the original place where the wet spot started to appear, there is a brown thing going on now and I can see the leaves of my orchid are actually going yellow, so the disease is actually spreading. I can only guess this is some sort of bacterial brown rot. So it's time to take some action. We will need a sterilized pair of scissors or a sterilized blade and to sterilize it, I will use alcohol and clean the blades of my scissors as much as I can. And just to be extra sure, I will flame them a bit as well. This will take care of all the pathogens that might be present on my scissors. Now the first thing we need to do when dealing with a bacterial infection is to remove the affected portion. As you can see, almost the entirety of my leaf is affected here, but I do still have a piece of leaf which is not affected. Now what I need to do is cut into healthy tissue. So I will see where the edge of the infection is and I will actually cut below it about half a centimeter or so. So I will cut right about here. The removed part of the leaf needs to be thrown away. As you can see, I have one more damaged leaf here, so I will try to cut into healthy tissue once again, although this is a bit trickier. And for now, the affected portions of the leaf are gone. Now, articles do suggest that at this point, you should use a sort of bactericide or fungicide if you have any but in some parts of the world, including mine, some substances are forbidden. Also, you might be the type of person which doesn't like to use pretty toxic substances. So if you are acquainted with bactericides or fungicides, you use them regularly and you take measures to prevent your health, at this point you can use that type of product on the orchid. If, however, you are not the type of person that can or wants to use pretty toxic substances or cannot find these substances in their area, you can use hydrogen peroxide 3% and you can actually find this almost in all parts of the world at your local pharmacy. It is used to disinfect wounds, so it is not toxic, but do get the 3% concentration. Now I've poured my hydrogen peroxide in a little bottle, so what I'm going to do at this point is spray the entire orchid, or actually the part of the orchid that was affected. Hydrogen peroxide has the benefit to actually eliminate fungi. However, after the initial reaction, all we're going to have left here is water, so we need to dry this orchid as best as possible. However, before we go ahead and dry this orchid, I also like to use cinnamon on cut wounds. And I've actually had a question on how cinnamon works. Well, practically cinnamon dehydrates. This means that a layer of tissue will get very dry. A dry layer of tissue cannot get infected. So this is why I use cinnamon as a prevention for reinfection of the leaf. So apply cinnamon only on the portion that you just cut. Try to not spread cinnamon on the surface of the media and on the roots. As I said, it dehydrates and roots really don't like to be dehydrated. So go in right where you cut the leaf and apply a little layer of cinnamon. If a bit of cinnamon goes on the leaf, it's okay. The most important thing is that it doesn't reach the roots. And I have to say, I've never had a reinfected tissue that I cut when using cinnamon, so I really think it does its job. Okay, now it is time to dry off the orchid. My preferred method is to place the orchid in front of a fan, as close as possible. Make sure that the orchid will not tip over because of the blow of the fan, and also make sure that the leaves don't brush against each other and actually destroy each other. But do let the orchid benefit of the draft, and actually in about an hour it's gonna be almost completely dry, if not completely dry. Okay, now let's talk about what caused this infection so we know how to prevent it in the future. So in my case, I really know what happened. I left water standing in the crown of the orchid. And this is actually a new growth just maturing. It has a lot of layers of leaves that are unfolding. And sometimes this water can get trapped and actually promote rotting, infections, bacterial or fungal infections, and so on. So practically, this is why my orchid got sick. 
Now to prevent this, try to not water your orchids from above, particularly with these types of orchids with the new growths. If you are forced to water your orchid or shower your orchid, make sure that you dry off the new growth as best as possible. Use a tissue, a paper tissue, to remove as much of the water as possible. And if you cannot get in all the crevices, try placing your orchid in front of a fan for a couple of hours. And this will prevent infection. Also, try to maintain your growing area very well ventilated. Fresh air is very important, so make sure that you open the windows. If it's too cold outside, at least keep them open for 5 to 10 minutes just to refresh the air. And if you don't have a draft in your growing space, you can use fans. This will actually prevent a lot of bacterial and fungal diseases. Now before I let you go, I would like to direct you to an article that focuses on diseases, symptoms, how to spot them. It's not only bacterial and fungal diseases, it's all sorts of diseases. I find it to be really, really good and useful, so you can check the description of this video and there's a link there that directs you to this article. So it's actually good to bookmark it and have it in mind if you ever have trouble and you're not sure what's wrong with your orchid. Alrighty, thank you for watching this video, I hope it was useful, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and a share. If you'd like to see more videos from me, simply subscribe to my channel. I post on a daily basis. Feel free to leave me questions or suggestions for videos in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orchinature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch another orchid video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!